Kanekwad has always been filled with treasures, and I've had the good fortune to be exposed to this property for the last 65 years, and I still find new things every time that I walk around and look around. This is the site of the Lower Brook Blind, which was a duck blind for the Southside Sportsman's Club of Long Island. The club was formed in 1866, and they started duck shooting right at that time. They could come here, shoot in the morning, go out at seven o'clock, and they'd be back in by nine o'clock, take the train to town and go to work. This country was built by sportsmen. I remember Mr. Thatcher saying he could hardly sleep, thinking that he was going to go shoot ducks in the morning. The Great South Bay was one of the greatest waterfowling spots in the entire country. We still have bird watchers and people that enjoy seeing nature that come out, but without shooting them. We tried having a program, a morning in a duck blind, to see if people would come to do that just to sit. We didn't have any takers. standing in front of the ice house. It was built sometime in the 1880s. It was used to store ice, which was cut from the Westbrook Pond. You could cut your ice in January, and you would still have ice in the fall. It did not use very much energy, and the ice was insulated with salt hay or with sawdust, and you just had a great block of ice sitting there, protected by the two-foot-thick walls, and that's the way people lived. The old Long Islanders and Yankees were pretty astute. They knew how to do things without great impact on the planet. It's a very nice old building. The Friends of Connect have hopes that sometime in the future to be able to modify the interior so they can have a storage building for the various photographs and records that they have of the local area. This is the area known as the chicken farm. Used to have a working chicken farm here that would provide poultry and eggs for the surrounding area from the 1870s until it burned down in 1924. Here you can see some foundations of the chicken house that have stood up pretty well for 100 years or so. You can imagine the work that went into producing this because you had to mix it all by hand at that time. And it's still very nice and hard. It's very interesting the way nature does cover things up. You can see what's happening here. The moss is starting to take over and eventually will cover it. I think our visitors to Konekwa enjoy this area because they come through the diversity of the hatchery, then the paths through the wetlands, and then they're very close to the dry uplands where they can see all the different land of Long Island in a very short walk. And it does have a unique feature in that there's water flowing out of the ground. And if you look at it closely, you'll see the little ripples in the water that's caused by the flow of the wells. The wells were created to be used by the fish hatchery to propagate trout. Very important because the members of the south side, which then became the Konequat, liked fishing. This area dates back probably to the 20s sometime and was in operation from then until 1960 or so. Over the years, people found out how to do better in the natural river water and they let this place just go back to nature. All of the things you see at Konequat are the result of the foresight of those people. What they built lasted. It's nice to know that it's here and it will be here for generations to follow.